From the very beginning of time, the universe has been expanding. The stars and galaxies and black holes are accelerating away from each other. While we struggle by in our daily activities and caught up in our mundane problems, we think we have figured out most of what's happening out there, only to be proven completely wrong with a new revelation. To this day, the Big Bang remains the most widely accepted explanation of how our universe began. This idea stems from the observation that other galaxies are moving from our own at high velocities and in all directions as they were being driven by some old explosive force. The Big Bang Theory is the primary explanation of how the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. Though it is the leading explanation, some theorists have come up with alternative ideas or extensions to this theory. The laureate of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020, Roger Penrose, believes the cosmos is subject to death and rebirth cycles. The scientist claims that there have been many Big Bangs, with more on the horizon. Aside from that, he thinks there's proof of the existence of other universes and black holes. The cosmology community as a whole does not agree with these findings, and they have sparked heated debate. Penrose was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discoveries about black holes, which demonstrated how extremely dense objects undergo gravitational collapse into singularities, or the points of infinite mass, and for working out the mathematical methods that proved and expanded Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. In his victory speech, Penrose reiterated his faith in what he termed a crazy theory of mine, that the cosmos would expand until all matter eventually breaks down. Then, another Big Bang will create a whole new universe. Penrose told The Telegraph, the Big Bang was not the beginning. Something existed before the Big Bang, and that was our future. When questioning the prevailing Big Bang dogma, the physicist must answer, what proof does the scientist have for his conformal cyclic cosmology, or CCC theory? He claimed to have found six heated sky locations, dubbed Hawking Points, each of which is nearly eight times bigger than the diameter of the Moon. They are named after the physicist Stephen Hawking, who theorized that black holes leak radiation and evaporate. Spotting such holes is very improbable, since it may take longer than the age of the universe we live in now, 13.77 billion years old, to do so. Penrose, now 91, worked with Hawking and thinks we may see dead black holes left behind from earlier universes or eons. If confirmed, this would add legitimacy to Hawking's ideas. The physicists work on the topic, due out in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society in 2020, details the discovery of anomalous circular patches with abnormally high temperatures in the CMB. The spots were first detected by the Planck 70 GHz satellite, and their existence has since been verified by as many as 10,000 computer simulations. In 2018, Penrose published a study proposing that escaping black holes are responsible for radiation hotspots in the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. In a report published in 2010, Penrose and Vaya Gerzadayan of the Yerevan Physics Institute in Armenia found evidence for cyclic cosmology in the CMB's uniform temperature rings. Previously, scientists had hypothesized that gravitational wave traces from an earlier universe's merging black holes were responsible for the rings. Some cosmologists are skeptical about these views because it's hard to see how the cosmos could go from being infinitely large in one eon to infinitesimally tiny in the next. So, it follows that all particles lose mass as the cosmos ages. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com.